Towards the end of the corridor, you can see the impressive golden howdah. Take a moment to admire its grandiosity. One can compare the regality of the howdah with that of Tipu's famous octagonal throne. Both made for powerful rulers, both adorned with the most precious of stones and both serving as symbols of luxury and supremacy. This golden chair that was built for the Mysuru Maharaja would be placed atop an elephant. This golden chair that was built for the Mysuru Maharaja would be placed atop an elephant during the Dasara procession. The designs on the Hauda are very beautiful and intricate. You can see thin strips of ivory on either side. If you look at the top of the Hauda, you can see two lights, one red and the other green. These lights were controlled by the king and allowed him to maintain the pace of the procession. How creatively they have used technology during those times, isn't it? Another amazing fact is that the Hauda is inlaid with 84 kilograms of gold. Is it any wonder that they needed an elephant to carry it? This Hauda is used even today for processions. But instead of carrying the king, it now carries the idol of Goddess Chamundeshwari during Dasara. Keep walking along the path and take